Hey team, hey, um, back again for a little chat. Uh, if you haven't seen my video a few weeks ago, um, I've been talking about 2020, what happened in 2020, uh, how it sort of impacted me, and the more I talk about it to more people, how the year kind of impacted them. Uh, I'm playing with my pocket knife. I got this for Christmas. That was pretty cool. Um, I wanted to have a chat because I want us to understand the idea of how important it is, especially in this year, in this current time, to be kind to ourselves. You be kind to you. That's what I want to encourage everybody to do, to be kind to yourself in the year of 2020, which has been a, a bit of a pig of a year for a lot of people. I acknowledge again that here in New Zealand, we have it better than most, but, you know, still, it's been a, a prick of a year. And... Um, Go back and watch the previous video. It's it's long, but it kind of explains the whole idea of how much um, I realised a little bit of stopping and pausing and, um, yeah, just figuring shit out needs to happen from this year. And I wanted to talk to you about something I... I had a chat with comedian and self-described raconteur, Simon McKinney, the other day. And in the middle of that conversation, we talked about you know, how we teach kids to play tennis. Um, I think what we do as people quite a lot is we judge ourselves based on our failures rather than our successes. So we say, you know, I didn't succeed in X, Y, Z, which means I'm X, Y, Z. You know, we don't go, I did succeed in X, Y, Z. So therefore, so we tend to measure ourselves based on our failures rather than our successes. And I think it's a real shame. And I realized while I was talking to Simon, I'm, I'm, there's kind of three kinds of people in the world. There's people who think before they speak, as they speak, or after they speak. The ones who speak after they, uh, sorry, who think after they speak are always the fun ones to be around. Uh, I tend to be a person who thinks as he speaks. So I'll be chatting about stuff and then think, oh yeah, I quite, I quite like how that came out. And there was a moment with the... Um, with the conversation with Simon, where we were talking about how they teach young children to play tennis in the very early stages. And rather than re-explain the whole thing, I'll just play you a 60-second clip right now. And I can remember distinctly being taught in a PE lesson about teaching kids how to play tennis. Mm -hmm. And so they had a tennis coach there who was a you know professional who was teaching all these students how to teach primary school kids how to play tennis. And I remember distinctly him saying, don't worry about the outlines. All you try and do with a kid when they're starting to play tennis is make really good contact with the ball. If they can make really good contact with the ball yeah. and it hits the fence at the back and goes out by 10 metres, that's a win. Yeah, nice. Because it's the skill they gain as they go on which will get them to control that power but all you're trying to do with a kid when they're yay big mm. is good contact with the ball. That's it. Mm. I think about that a lot. It's a good one. When I like that a lot. When it comes to life. Yeah. Because so often I think whatever it is, be it a young person doing comedy, be it starting a new job, be it trying a new whatever, mm -hmm. we try and hit the ball as hard as we can and perfectly onto the line no. on day one. Whereas... The metaphor that, well, it's not a metaphor what he did, but the metaphor I take from it is make good contact with the ball. Mm. Solid contact. Yeah. So it flies well. Yeah. We'll worry about getting in, getting it in in the months that's, to come. That's perfect. So as I was saying before, the idea that we judge ourselves based on our failures rather than our successes, we also have in our head this idea for what a success is. And I think a lot of the time we... Um, want the successes to be immediate and perfect. So much like you heard in the little clip we just played there, you know, the success when a kid starts to learn to play tennis is good contact on the ball, and that's it. One singular thing done well is a success. They don't have to be perfect from day one. And I think because so often I do, and if it resonates with you, maybe you do too, we judge ourselves based on our failures, and part of that is because we make our successes so unattainable. They have to be perfect on day one. They have to be perfect in every way. And so one of the things I want to talk about for 2021 is 
you being kind to you, me being kind to me, looking after ourselves, but also, you know, our successes can be small, a little success. And I said this a few weeks ago, that one success in 2020, because of the pig of the year it was, or has, is at the moment, is kind of worth 20 successes any other year. So that's about it. I just wanted to have a quick chat and say, you know, I think that we should start to measure ourselves against our successes, but we should also start to uh, look to our successes being more manageable goals. We don't have to hit the ball perfectly on day one and have it land right on the line. Just making good contact with the ball is enough. Just one element of whatever it is that we're trying to um, succeed in, done well, is a success, not the complete thing we're trying to succeed in, being done perfectly on day one. Yeah, and that's it. Have a good New Year's Eve and stay safe.